We give you praise. We give you glory, honor, and adoration. You are good and kind. Your mercy and your way forever. Thank you tonight, oh God, for your awesome presence. We come one more time. We gather one more time. And we are expectant. We are asking, oh God, that you will minister to us and that you will move in our presence in the name of Jesus. We thank you for everything that you have done and all that you are doing. We thank you for the things that we see and the things that we do not even see. We thank you because you have not counted on our ability, mm. but you've counted on our inability. We say thank you. You are good indeed, you are kind, you are a good God. Be glorified, O oh God, be magnified in Jesus' mighty name. We ask that tonight you will do a new thing in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. So tonight, we are going to be looking at God's word that I captioned, keep me from falling. Keep me from falling. Hallelujah. Somebody say to yourself, oh Lord, keep me from falling. Oh God, keep me from falling in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my father, turn it into prayer and pray it. Oh Lord, my father, in the name of Jesus, keep me from falling in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep me, oh God, from falling. Keep me from falling into temptation. Keep me from falling, oh God, along the way in my journey with you. Keep me from falling into the wrong hands. Keep me from falling into the hand of the wrong pastor. Keep me from falling into the hand of a wrong husband. Keep me from falling into the hand of a wrong business collaborator. Keep me from falling into the hand of a wrong boss. Keep me from falling, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Keep me from falling, oh God, from making errors, spiritual errors, oh God, that will cost me a lot. Keep me from falling, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Ladaba shataya kosa brandia. Ista grisa laba de shendele grete. O sami katala ba sataya ba. Ronto laba shataya. Ma shekete lebe kasika ta. Rika laba shande liba kanda raba sekete dalado shata laba kasi kata ma sekete lebe koso koto rati galaba sakata laba raka dalaba kasekete roko to liba kasi kata laba rika liba si kata liga talaba yate roko paladi ya sandi la brante esteke parada ma soko to lo broko to laba kasi yata in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Keep me from falling, oh God, at my place of work. Keep me from falling from the height, oh God, to, the, to a low position. Keep me from falling, from rising and falling, oh God. Keep me from falling in the name of Jesus. Ladaka saprakata legete. La kade shakata la brakate roko toli bakataya shalaka baradi kalo shada rande lebe kado shika la brantia o sakata li brakata la gadesha mandele gratosi brakataya in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray may the Lord keep you and I from falling in Jesus mighty name Amen what does it mean what is the meaning of fall what does it mean to fall. You see, the layman has a, a, a certain, there's a certain proverb that they always say, they say the downfall of a man is not the end of his life. But what if the man doesn't fall at all? The downfall of a man is not the end of his life. 
But what if the man doesn't fall? Is it not better for the man to, for God to keep the man from falling or for the man to rise up and then fall? Hallelujah. What is falling? What does it mean to fall? Let's look at it. All right. It's a falling means moving from a higher to a lower level, typically rapidly without control. Falling means, you know, coming down or moving from a higher level to a lower level rapidly, I mean, with the speed. And without control. This is the most scary part when it comes to falling without control, without control. If a man or if a thing falls without control, you know that that thing is headed for destruction. Praise the Lord. It will, it, it will, it will, it will, you know, it is important for us to understand that falling, it is not just about you leaving the high, high position to fall, to come down to a lower place. It consists of other things. Rapidly, fast. It is a fast drop from a higher position to a lower position. I am here to prophesy into your life and my life tonight that every strategy of the enemy to cause you and I to fall from a high position to a lower position, may that strategy be arrested by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. May the every strategy of the enemy to rapidly pull you and I from a higher position to a lower position, may that strategy of the enemy be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Any strategy of the enemy to pull you from a higher level to a lower level in the name of Jesus, let that that strategy of the enemy, let the strategy be destroyed by fire in Jesus' mighty name. Any plan, any purpose, every strategy of the enemy, any, any declaration of the enemy to cause you and I to rapidly leave the position where we are, to get to a lower position, may that, that, did, may that plan never ever stand in the mighty name of Jesus. It will interest you to know that there are two types of fall. There is a spiritual fall and there is a physical fall. Hallelujah. The reason why they pray the prayer and they say, lead us not into temptation is because temptation will cause people to fall. Praise the Lord. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Because it leads when a man begins to fall for evil to come in is very easy. I want you to understand that falling can be <sighs> falling can actually it means moving you from an advantage to a disadvantage. And the nature of man, the way the nature of man is. By the time that you move man from the place of advantage and leave that man at the place of a disadvantage, many times man does not want it. Man does not want to stay there. So the man will do everything and anything possible to pull themselves out of that place, whether by God, whether by anything. Many people will not want to, to, to wait for God to help them out of that place. They will devise a means or a strategy on how 
to leave that position. The apostles asked Jesus, teach us how to pray. And Jesus, as, as he was praying, and then he began to say, lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Why is it that the moment he spoke about temptation, the next thing that came from his mouth is evil? It's because when temptation comes, temptation is for a man to fall. When a man falls, then evil is by the side. When the Lord spoke to, to, to Cain, he said, be careful. The way you are looking at your brother, he said, evil is at the door, it's knocking. If you are not careful, it will take over you. What happened? What happened? He didn't listen. And the next thing was that he killed his brother. And the next thing was that he began to run. Any agenda of the enemy to cause you to fall so that you'll be out of place, so that you'll be out of your destiny, so that you'll be operating away from your destiny. May the Lord arrest that, that plan tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like I said, falling is physical and spiritual. Falling is not something that is just, you know, a physical stuff. No. Falling has also to do with your judgment and a spiritual and spiritual. Okay, boy. So somebody to die. Praise the Lord. Okay. So falling can be physical and it can also be spiritual. And the kind of falling that I'm talking tonight is not a fall that somebody stands slides and fall. I'm talking about falling into temptation. I'm talking about falling into an, an attack of the enemy, into a plan of the enemy. I'm talking about falling and then slipping into sickness. I'm talking about falling that can, and then it leads into destruction of your business. That is what I'm talking about. Errors that you make, and then they cost you a lot. There are people that have, they have missed a contact that would have changed their destiny. Yeah, they would, it would have changed their destiny, but guess what? This is all because the, the person did fall and then they couldn't grab the opportunity. It slipped off their hand. And because of that, they are going through a lot. That's a fall. Praise the Lord. My prayer is that the Lord will help us and he will bring us out of every strategy of the enemy. I might be talking and somebody said, oh, woman of God, but it's, it's, it's a normal thing for people to fall, it's a lie. It's not a normal thing. Have you, th have you thought of it that if I, I did not fall at all, if I, sh if I do not fall at all, do you know where you will be? No. In, in your education, you didn't fail. Everything that you did, you succeeded and succeeded and succeeded. Do you know where it would have been today? You would have, this is not your position. This is not where it would have been. But falling will not allow you to go far. In the name of Jesus, anything that makes you fall, may that power be destroyed tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May anything that causes you to fall constantly drag you to fall. Because falling is a spirit of stagnation. May that thing be destroyed tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's look at scripture. Jude. Hallelujah. First Jude. Let's look at it. Chapter 20, uh, chapter 1, verse 24 to 25. Let's go there. All right. It said, to him who is able to keep you from falling, to him who is able to keep you from falling, God has the ability to keep you from falling. So falling is not normal. Falling should not be accepted. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming to answer the question that is on your mind. I hear it very loud and clear. 
I hear the question you're asking. <laughs> it said to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you before, before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy. He is able to keep you from falling and to keep you from stumbling. Not only he keeps you from falling, he keeps you from stumbling. He presents you before his glorious presence without any fault. You can actually, we can actually be without a fault. We can actually be without, without going without stumbling because if we go without, if we keep on going without stumbling, this is the, this is, this is how we grow. This is how we are elevated. This is how we are accepted. This is how we move higher. Oh, but if we keep stumbling and falling, if we keep stumbling and falling, then we're not going anywhere. We cannot even be presented. Let me, let me tell you something. Do you know that people who are failed in many things that they do, do you know that they are not accepted? Yeah, they are not accepted. They are not accepted. Somebody who has failed, who is the person? Marflo is here. Marflo was that man, the man that made the fluorescent bulb. Oh, is the one. The man that that physician that that made lights, that did light. They, they say that that man, he failed how many times? What's the name of that man again? That man that made that that discovered uh what this light or what, what is his name? What? Was it Abbott, the guy in physics? Yes. I don't know. Abbott. I heard that he fell so many times. No, I don't think it was Abbott. I don't remember his name. I don't know the name of, I've forgotten the name of the man, but I know that the man actually, he, he did it uh, many times. Do you know somebody that feels like that? Do you, if that man did not succeed in that project, eh? wait, wait, wait. There, is, there is a drink in America here called Seven, seven Up. Okay. It's because he failed seven times and then he finally made the drink successfully. So they call it Seven Up. He went up seven times. Can you he imagine? Seven times. He went seven times and failed. He failed so much so that, okay, even I learned about the story of even McDonald's. It was the same thing. He failed, they failed so many times. Do you know many people who are feel like that and they didn't come out, they didn't successfully come up with whatever they wanted to come up. They gave up along the line because falling is actually a death trap. It is a trap for discouragement. When you fall and fall and fall and fall, falling is not a bad, it's a very bad thing. So people say, oh, they will tell you, they will, we have scriptures, I'm coming to them, how they will encourage you and say, oh, the righteous man falls seven times, May you, must you fall? Must you be the one to fall? So you, you, you are praying today, you are telling yourself that I will not, that seven times is not for me. I will not be seven up in Jesus' name. The seven times is not for me. Oh, you divorce and divorce and divorce. You divorce seven times before you, you now marry the right person. Eh? Okay. You will, you, you will have seven miscarriages before you now carry your own child in your own womb. Oh, you will, you, you will, you will fail and fall and fall and fall. No, falling is not for me. I have Jude chapter one for you, verse 24 tonight. Take it and go with it. He who is able to keep me from falling, you will say, falling is not my thing anymore. I will not fail anymore. I will not be procrastinating any, every, every day, every day, every day. The spirit of procrastinate, procrastination is another way of falling. See somebody that is procrastinating, tomorrow we do it, tomorrow we do it. That man, that man is a failure. He's falling every time. Praise God. He said to him who is able to keep you from falling and to pre and is also able to present you Oh, okay. Uh, Brother Oren said it's Humphrey Day. He said, to him who is able to keep you from falling, from stumbling, and to present you, he's not only able to keep you from falling, but he's also able to present you before anybody that you, that it doesn't matter the person. 
It doesn't matter. He is able to present you before that president. He is able to present you before that governor. He is able to present you before that person, before that that business uh, uh, tycoon. He is able to present you before anything. Why? Because he has the ability to keep you from falling. Praise the Lord. He said he has the ability to keep you from falling and present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy. Don't you know that any time you do something and succeed, don't you know that you are very happy? Somebody say, I reject failure. I reject failure. I reject failure in the name of Jesus. Verse 25 said, to the only, to the only God, our Savior, be the glory, majesty. Look at what will sustain you and keep you from falling. Let me show you what will keep you, the power that sustains you from falling. He said to the only God, Our Savior, be the glory, majesty, power, and authority. Are you seeing what keeps you from falling? Majesty, power, authority. Majesty has to do with control. It has to do with rulership. So these spirits and whatsoever that controls people and make them to fall. No majesty is in charge. He said power is also in charge. He said that you have authority also by your side. He said through Jesus Christ, all these things is through Jesus Christ. He said through Jesus Christ, our Lord, before all ages, it doesn't matter whether it is a child, an adolescent, an adult, a, an old man, a middle-aged man, an old man. He said he can keep you for fall, from falling. He said before all ages, now and forevermore. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't have any right to fail. You don't have any right to fall. Now, I'm not saying that, oh, I'm condemning you that because of something, because you failed about something. And then you are saying, Pastor Brenda, you are just killing me today because I have failed a couple of times. You have heard my story. I failed too. I failed too. Yeah. Everybody have their story of their failure. But it's time for us to understand the power that we also have, that we can also stand and be presented before his glorious throne, without without blemish, perfect. That when the world look at us, they say, this one, under normal circumstances, this one is not not supposed to be like this. Hallelujah. The Bible said, you know, it's very interesting because I'm talking like that, people are saying, "Hmm, Pastor Brenda, what are you saying? What are you talking? Hallelujah. I have more justification for you. Let's look at Psalms 37, verse 23 and 24. Psalms 37. Amen. Psalm 37, verse 23 and 24. Let's go. Psalm 37, verse 23 and 24. It said, the Lord makes firm. Mm. I said, I said, because I, 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 because of this and that, look at this. 
The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Some other scripture said, the footsteps of the righteous, they are ordered by the Lord. When the footsteps of a man is ordered by God, that man does not fall. A man that is promiscuous, a man that lives life anyhow, that's a man that can be caught in any kind of thing. But somebody that is, is, is ordered, his steps are ordered by the Lord, you will hardly see them in a problem. And even when they find themselves in situations, oh, God comes through for them. He said, the Lord makes firm the steps of the world, the one who delights in him, though he may stumble. Amen. Though he may stumble, he will not fall. He may do what? Stumble. But he will not fall. Papa. Okay. Papa. Okay. I'm doing okay. I'll come and take you. I'm doing something. Okay. Thank you, Papa. I'm coming. Good boy. Amen. So he said, though he may stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his right hand. Hmm. 25. I was young and now I am old. Yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken. All their children begging for bread. Mm -hmm. The Lord, number one, he makes firm the steps of the righteous. Number two, even if they stumble, they will not fall because God is holding their hand. Number three, so you can grow, actually grow in Christ from whatever place that you are, whether young, whether a child, when you, do, you, are, you, know, you know things, you start understanding God, following the principles of God, you can actually go without falling. Praise the Lord. It is possible. It is a scripture. And if we go like this, it will help us a lot and we will not fail in the things that we are doing. May the Lord keep us from falling. May he cause our footsteps to be firm on the ground in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16. Let's go there. Proverbs 24. 24, verse 16. He said, for though the righteous fall seven times, thou have come to what you have been saying in your heart since. 
Say, Pastor Brenda, the Bible said that the righteous fall seven times. No, falling is not our portion. Even, you imagine it now. You just fall seven times, just fail and fail and fail seven times. It doesn't sound okay. Do you know the discouragement that comes with it? No, on a, on a, on a serious note. Me, I wrote the GC, the GC ordinary levels four times. Yes, it was the fourth time that I passed and it, it took God for me to go to that school and go and pass that exam. It took God for me to go to that school and go, you, do you know what it means to fail even two times? The third time you don't want to go anywhere. You, <laughs> it's not a good thing. Not, to the, not the one that will be saying that seven times. What kind of heart do you have? Do you know how many people who have given up because they fell? Do you know how many people? Do you know how many people are moving in the streets like that that you see them, they are somehow, it's because they, fa they, they failed and or they fell and they, they don't know how to go about life anymore because they are discouraged. This, the younger brother of falling or failure is the spirit of discouragement. They work, they are married. It's not even the younger brother, they are married. Once you fall like that, bam, discouragement takes over. You think you ever pass. That's the only thing that you hear in your head, whether you are praying or you are fasting, whether whatever, whether you are sleeping, <laughs> even your dream, somebody will be telling you that. Uh, I, <laughs> I <laughs> you fail again, oh, you fail. It takes God. So somebody will say, no, you know the scripture? No, I'm, I'm the pastor that brings it practical to you. You know scripture is good to quote it, but it's a problem not to maintain, not, the, not to follow. Yeah, now. It's easy to quote it, but can you do it? They write just four, seven times, but they rise up again. Woo! Four, three times, rise up me and see. Just four, two times. And, and see the difficulties that you face to break forth. Praise God. May the Lord cause our feet to be firm that we will not fall from this day in the name of Jesus Christ. That Proverbs chapter 16 like that, he's talking, he said, the righteous fall seven times. He said, but they rise again. No, it's not my portion. It's not your portion anymore. It's not your portion to fail and fail and fail. No, it's not your portion anymore. Whatever caused you to continue to fall like that, to feel like that, is no longer working on you in the name of Jesus. It's no longer working on us. We destroy that power in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 say, I know the thoughts and the, the plans that I have towards you. He said, they are thoughts of good and not of evil. They are thoughts to bring you to an expected end. God does not take anybody to where he does not know the, where the person is going to. Is it the problem? The, the reason why the falling issue, is it because God is confused? God does not know where you are going to. Is it that God does not know your location? Is it that God does not know your body point? It's very easy for us to, you know, quote scriptures and say this and say this and, and say all of those things. He encourage, he encourage people, but, but hmm, it's not funny at all. Amen. It's not funny at all. It's a spirit. It's something that you flow with it spiritually and physically. It is. <laughs> uh, when that thing is upon a person, if you like change country, is there. It, uh, your location is not the problem. The problem is on top of you. You war with it. 
the reason why I said it, it in fact, is 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 dealt with in three forms: physically, spiritually, and mentally. Because failure begins from inside this man. This man will begin to tell you that day. Yeah, there is no way out. Oh. There is no way out. Oh. You have to fight it, even mentally. May the Lord in his infinite mercy pull us out in the name of Jesus. May the Lord in his infinite mercy pull us out from whatever failure, whatever thing that is causing us to fall. May the Lord by his mighty righteous right hand, may he pull us out and bring us to the place of deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I know the thoughts that I have towards you. Why is it that God have to say, I know the thoughts? Because where all your battles begin is here. So God is telling you that if your own thought pattern has a problem, come back to my own. If your thought pattern, if, if you have, if you notice that you are no longer going the way, your part, thought pattern keeps telling you another thing. Now go back to God because he know he is your creator. It's just like you buying a car from the Mercedes company and then it goes bad and then you are struggling to fix it by yourself. What do you do? Go back to the company. Yeah, right. Go back to the company. They have every part. So if your thought pattern is the reason why you are falling, why you are failing, you will need to go back to your creator. You will go back to the one who manufactured you. There's a message that I preach, the manufacturer. You will have to go back to your manufacturer for him to maintain you or to go and check the manual and check it. What does he say? What does he say? What does he say? He said, I know the thoughts that I have towards you. They are of good and not for evil. He said they are plans to bring you to an expected end. So falling is never part of us. I destroy the power of failure, of falling in the mighty name of Jesus. I destroy the power of failure in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What must I really do? How am I supposed to come out of this thing? How can I come out, free myself from this spirit that constantly caused me to fall? You, do you notice the, the, the way the Lord he took me through the prayer, the, the messages of this, 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 this fasting, particular fasting? It, God is teaching us something. He doesn't just want us to cast demons and cast demons and cast demons. There are people that need to be taught what to do. There are people that need to be told what to do because there are many people that do not understand what is even wrong with them. We have done that's why if you have not been following, you need to go and follow the messages that are on, on, on YouTube because who have passed, who, who will not continue to be binding. It's time for building. We are building now on the foundation. We are building, we are building, we are putting things in order now. How to fix it? Hallelujah. How to, how not to fall? Yesterday we look at the gates of at the gates of hell. Say the gates of hell will not prevail. We we are now looking at keep me from falling. How to God is teaching us how to stand firm, how to position things. It's not about only casting. We will not be casting and binding demons. Are talking no. 
God wants to teach us how to do. There is a pattern, there's a way. If you go like this and go like this, you will succeed. Number one, how do I keep myself from falling? Number one, Ephesians chapter six, verse 11. Papa, is everything okay? Ephesians 6, 11. Let's go there. Number one, put on the armor of God. That is why I said, it's not only something, somebody will say, it's because I need to work very hard. There are people who, no matter, my floor, where is that you post elder brother? No matter how the person work hard, the person keeps falling. There's a spirit that is responsible for it. Put on the armor. Number one, first of all, put on the armor of God. By the time you put on the helmet of salvation, you put the breastplate of peace. You put the belt of truth. You put on the gospel sandals on your feet. You take up the shield of faith. You take on the sword of the spirit to cut across spirits and, 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 and marrow and to be able to divide a son that search even the intent of the heart. You'll be able to pull out the spirits from your life. Yes. And those that have been fired at you to cause you to fall. Number one, put on the whole armor of God. Number two, let us look at, let us read that scripture. Somebody put, um first peter chapter 5 verse 9 we'll go there he said put on the full armor of god so that you can take your stand against the devil's scheme put on the because falling is of the enemy so that you can put you can be able to to take your stand against every scheme of the enemy to cause you to fall Hallelujah. It is very important. It is very important for you, for me, to put on the armor. The armor helps us stand firm. First Peter chapter 5, verse 9. Hallelujah. Number two, resisting. The power to resist. We don't beg the devil. We don't, we don't, we don't beg the devil. No. You don't beg him. You don't tell him. <laughs> you, don't beg him. you don't beg the devil. You resist him and you cast him out. That's what they, how they do. You resist him and then you cast him out. So the Lord is saying, if I were you, I'll be writing these scriptures and I'll be writing by the side what I'm saying. Because you will use this scripture to put on the armor of God and then you, you, you resist the enemy. You resist him. You cast him out. You don't, you, you don't, you know, you, you, before you go out there and work very hard, make sure that he's not in, in your premises. Make sure that he's not in that business. Make sure that he's not in that your career. Because if he is still, if he is still there, he will do everything. Yeah, I'm talking because this message, the Lord is giving it the message to him. He should listen to everything that I'm saying very well. Because these are one of the keys that he needs to break out of whatever thing is holding him. Because the stronghold of retrogression and backwardness is on that man. It's very strong. So these are keys. Resist 
the devil. Scripture say what? Resist him. Let's look at the scripture. Do you think that everybody must suffer and suffer before they have money? Do you think that people say other man is suffering now? Do you think that it's normal? Do you think that somebody more? Do you think that this is God's plan? Even Adam and Eve, when God took throw them out of the of out of the the garden, He still gave them grace. Even though He cursed the ground and said, "I will fill with thorns," yet they they did well. Out of that same ground, that same earth, it was where a, 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 a Abel had a very good harvest. Why is it that some people must sweat as if they want to die for they have money? There's an, there's an invisible hand. Amen. Scripture said, resist him. Firm in your faith. Resist the devil. Firm in your faith. Somebody will just get up now and say, Pastor Brenda, someone will resist the devil. And start, I resist you. I resist you. I, I say, I say, wait, I resist you. To no faith. My really love now, it's You really love now. That's true. I resist you. And then the funny thing is that he knows if you have faith or not. Eh? He just took care of you. He says, see this one. He says, see this one. If I, I'll just trigger fever now. I'll trigger fever. Her mouth will short. This one, this one, not pray for three months. This one will be asking, oh God, oh God, where are you? Why do you allow fever? <laughs> he knows you. <laughs> eh? You don't know. You don't, you don't know. Ah, uh, some of us is tired because he strike there, strike there, strike there. He said, This one know the move. Oh, oh ye mountain. You know, we'll move. So, no, know we'll move. You will not go and start telling the devil that I resist you. I resist you. No, you will resist him with faith. So much so that when he hears you say to him in the name of Jesus, whatever is bound on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever is loose on earth is loose in heaven. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I stand according to God's word in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 5, chapter 5, verse 9. I resist you in the name of Jesus. Get out. He lives. Why is that some pastors cast demons? They come out some of them, they cast demons and they don't go. The problem is the faith. Praise the Lord. He said, resist him, firm in faith, knowing that the same kind of suffering, listen, resist him in faith, knowing that the same kind of suffering are being experienced by your brother hold throughout the world. So Satan is not only attacking by you. Know that the attack that he's attacking is also attacking me. He's attacking other people also. That is his method of dealing with believers. So when you are resisting him, resist him, knowing that the, the Bible says this, tempt, this temptation, it is bad word. It is not that it's not but common to man. It is common to man. There's somebody that is going through that particular thing that you are going through. That, I mean, that same thing like that that you are going through. There's somebody that is going through that same thing. That is Satan's way of action, but what is the solution? Resisting via faith and he will let you go in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hey, I bless you. Bless you, sir. Oh. Papa, give me my mouse, please. I really beg you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I beg you, come and give my mouse. Amen. Number two, he said, resist the devil. Number three, be steadfast and unmovable. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Uh-uh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Anybody saying this? Say. 
You know what the secret is? Uh, hey, I wanted to be the first. Happy birthday. God bless you. I love you. Mm, continue to do God's work. You continue to be strong. I'm coming. I'll bless you very soon. I'm coming. Amen. So, First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. First Corinthians 15, <laughs> 58. Let's go there. Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable. This immovable is very important. On the light bit in that your Bible. Be steadfast and be immovable. I was talking to a sister. Ah. <laughs> uh, I started, <laughs> hey, if God doesn't want to do it, let him leave it now. If God doesn't want to do it, let, let, let him leave it. Am I not a woman of God? Am I not a woman of God? I'm a woman of God also. I'm a woman of God. If God does not want to do it, let him leave it. Let, let God leave it. Uh -uh. If God does not want to do it, let him leave it. Why do you confuse angels? Angels carry blessings. They say, ah, he said, more leave her more. And those angels, are, they can be very funny. Those angels can be very funny. As you are talking nonsense like that, that's what the scripture said. The Bible said, do not say any nonsense and come and tell them. Those angels would say, they don't, they don't, they, uh, the scripture that says it now, that angels say, don't say anything and say it was an error. Anything you say, those angels are doing it. Some people, somebody will say, if I do this, let me die today. Ah, now those angels, they will help you die. Now them. Yes. The power of life is in this your tongue. Use it to speak life instead of death. May, they live, may God live or no. If it be say I must do now this thing for God to give me. Me no give me no. Me live a, ah, ah. That woman spoke to me. Oh, that woman spoke to me. Yeah, I was scared. I was listening to what she was saying. And you know, somebody that has understanding, somebody that hears God. You are talking like that. May God may live or no. Holy Spirit say, hey, this one, look at this one. So, me, somebody that on that knows God very well. Eh? You don't talk. He, no matter how the thing is paining you, guide your tongue. Especially people who pray very, who pray, guide your mouth. Because your angels are always active. If I do this, if, if, if you do this thing, eh? Me then die. That's what those angels where they always go slaughter people. That's what they'll slaughter you. And hey now, now you talk on. You won't die. They don't kill you. Why? <laughs> no, no, so, so assignment. If they don't do assignment, God can't judge them now. How will it be? They don't want to be judged. They don't say, I'm a, uh, the one that you send me to go and guide, say I should kill her, kill her. And hey now, it's assignment. Now you talk on. It's your mouth. Use your mouth to tell them. That woman was speaking to me, and I knew that God had released her blessing. And she was talking. Oh, if God no one do me liver, if God no one do me liver, make God liver no, make God liver. Ha! I say, hey. me, I was scared though. I almost told her, I say, I say, I want to say, I say, ah, ah, but why are you talking like this? No, 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 no. No, if God no one do me liver, me liver. If he means it, as it. Huh. God no one live on. God don't live on. God don't live on. If you don't want to do it, you leave it. And you think that you're talking to your boyfriend. Do you think you're talking to your boy? Do you think you're talking to your boyfriend? Hey. <laughs> Am I not a woman of God too? 
I said, we know the fight for women of God. We don't get chair. Oh. We don't have a seat that we are, we are struggling on. Oh. God doing so well. I was explaining to Papa some time ago, and I was saying that, ah, Papa, no wonder God no give us microphone. The man laughed tired. Do you know how many years I've been preaching without microphone? Do you know how many years? I, I think I'm the only pastor without microphone. That we preach in the church without microphone. Yeah. I think God has a reason. Because those things that you think that they are the things that amplify your voice, it's not it. I'm a woman of God too. I preach also. God is using me also. Upon how God is using you, God not tell you how to use your mouth. God did not tell you as God is using you to help other people to deliver people, to set people free, to do the, God not tell you how to use your mouth. I say, well, I sat quiet. I said, God, you have heard though. The woman said, may no give her anything. How will do that? Will we force her? No. Be steadfast and be all immovable. Your confession is your deliverance. Your confession is what you receive. Your confession is your power. Your ability to receive is tied to your confession. What you say will come to pass. What you speak is what you will see in reality. If you continue to talk negative things, negative things, you will receive negative things. It is not that they are causing you. It's not a curse. It is what you called upon yourself. Be steadfast and be unmovable. You go to the hospital and the doctor give you a report. And they just, you just call everybody in your family, don't die, Mio. Ha! Don't die, Mio. Cassie report. I don't die, Mio. I don't die. As you say, don't die. I'm not die like this. I'll end it. No, we need die. No. That's how they are looking. Eh, hey, don't die. All right, no problem. We will finish you now. As they are talking like that. For you, you pick that report. I mean, they have never given you a report in the hospital. I mean, report with, with Thai rapper, two rapper. Those of you who are from Africa, they know when mama tie two rapper. The Thai lace two rapper, you know, say yes, this matter is strong. The Thai two rapper. Doctor has doctor ever give you a report that Thai that, that two rapper? Two rapper. They tie one under, they tie like this. They use rope, tie each other, that will not lose. And then they tie another one on top. And then the mama talking and then tie the other one. <laughs> Ah, my friend, it's not funny. That situation is immovable. But your confession in a situation like that, it will change that report. You take the report like that and look at it and say, this is a fact and not the truth. The truth is in God's word. I will go back and find out what God's word say concerning this situation. I will see you the next time that I will come here to look, to check what is happening. You will not be found anywhere in my life in Jesus' mighty name. You take the report and tell the doctor that, listen, this is not the final. I am coming back with a shocker. I remember when I was pregnant, doctor gave report, gave report, gave report, gave report, gave report, gave report. <laughs> I brought that report and came and showed Papa. I said, see, oh, they don't give report for hospital. Papa, look at it like that. Ah. You remember that message, Vicky? This is not what I bargained for. It was in the process of a terrible report that was given to me. As I was praying, the Lord gave me that message. This is not what I bargained for. 
It was through that message that barrenness was casted from the church. All manner of things, people were delivered. Some of the circumstances that you are going through is because God wants to bring other people out of their own circumstance. That's why you are there. Ah, me and Papa handled that situation. Papa, for like two months, right? It was two months. Hey, yeah, da, 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 da. You never see prayer. Ha! Hmm. Ah, yeah. You see the, the, the reason why you, you used to just be shaking like that any small thing, just carry yourself and go to the hospital and give your blood anyhow. It's because you, they have not given you a report. To. They give you a report. When you feel certain things in your body, you first of all pray and cast it out, and carry yourself, go anywhere. Because there's, uh, there, there are times that the enemy is waiting for you at that hospital. <laughs> ah, God. <laughs> God. Be steadfast and immovable. No matter what comes, no matter, listen, there is no situation that God cannot change. He's the one that created the force of gravity now. He break it. He's the one that said anything that goes up will come down. He, after he, he has sent it, he never come back. He has said they break the law of gravity, break it, he go. He has not come back. Where was the force of gravity when he was ascending? It didn't work. There's nothing God cannot change because of any of his children. They say if, any, if somebody cannot walk on water, something cannot stay on top of water, except that thing is what, what, what. But Jesus walked on water. Do you know the God that you are serving? Say, be steadfast and be unmovable. Immovable. Don't change your, your confession because of what you are going through. He said, be steadfast and immovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that the Lord, the Lord, your labor in the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain. Always abound in him, knowing that you serving him is not in vain. You think that God is blind? That he will just allow you to go like that in that situation and go and end. Except that is the path that he had created, that that is how you will come home. Except that is the path. And many times the enemy turned to, to, to convince people that, that this is the path for you. This is, your, this is how you are supposed to end. And many times it's not true. And they agree. And that's how a lot of believers, they usually die when it is not time. Can I tell you the truth? A real believer, a real believer, when he wants to die, he does, he's not sick. I am telling you, a real, I mean, a real believer, when it is time for them to go, why would God want them to come through a certain, they will be troubled. He picks them like that. He sends angels to pick them. I am telling you, I know that some of you are saying that, eh, this and that. I am telling you. That they will be sick and be tormented and be tormented after I serve God with my youth, with all this, my power. After I serve God with all my youth, all my life, that I would have been using to do nonsense. That my age mates are doing nonsense right there out there. I'm here serving God. After I finish serving God like this, that's how he will now allow me to go and rot in the, in the, in, in the sick bed. For what? Is God a, a, a liar? God cannot be mocked. He knows that my, my life, my life is a testimony to many people. He will never allow such a thing to happen to me. He will never allow such a thing to happen to his people. I mean a real person that is serving God. Most of them, they rapture like this. You don't see it. He might show a sign to people like that, that I want to take this person. He takes them. They don't, they don't die. He when you see a righteous person where he really died, you will know that God took this one. He takes them. They don't die. He takes them. Be steadfast. 
if you, I'm telling you, I am telling you, some of those things that you look at it and you say that this is how that person wants to die, it's a lie. God will never allow his people to go and be, to, to, to be, to be like that on sick bed. They are turning their like this, turning their like that, turning their like that. What kind of thing is that? He doesn't accept it. Be steadfast in your faith. Whatever you see that you don't like it, resist it. Whatever you see that you don't approve of it, resist it. And what? Whoa, whoa. Resist it. And the enemy will flee from you in the name of Jesus. Be what? Be steadfast. Abide in his word. Knowing that he, he is not blind that he does not see your work. Amen. Hallelujah. Number three, conduct yourself. Put yourself together. Conduct yourself. First Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. Mm -mm. Philippians chapter 1, verse 27. Philippians 1, 27. It said, only let your manner of life be worthy. Your manner of life should be worthy. For you not to fall, you cannot be living anyhow and expect that you will not fall. He said, only let your manner of life be worthy of the gospel of Christ. There are some Christians. There are some people that you see them in the church. There are some people that you see them. You, you, you don't even, you are asking them, you ask yourself, what is really connecting this person with God? What, what is this person's connection with God? You cannot put your finger on it. The way you conduct yourself is very important as to how you will get your, your firm grip on the ground for you that will help you not to fall. He said, conduct yourself. That is in a way that is worthy of the gospel. It says, so that whether I come and see you or I am absent, I may hear of you that you are standing firm in one spirit. It says, whether he, you, you rapture or him, he comes where he comes. Let him come and meet you that you are doing the right thing. That you will be standing firm, no matter whether he is absent or is present, you'll be standing firm. That's how he wants it. For you to make it, for it, for everything to be okay, that is the life of a Christian. That's the life that God expects from us. For you to stand firm, you must be able to live a worthy life. Self-control. Self-control. Is that you stand from in one spirit with, with one mind striving by striving by side for the faith of the gospel 28. He said, and, and not frightened in anything by the opponent. I'm not frightened in anything by the opponent. When you live a righteous life, when you live an accountable life, you, you listen, that is first of all a protection for you. That the enemy, listen, do you know that you, that somebody that is not a Christian, but the person is living a, you know, the person is living, the person is self-controlled. The person does not do some kind of thing. That person naturally, that person does not have, it's difficult for that person to find themselves in trouble. Yes. 
So what about you, a Christian? Then the word of God is saying that your self-control is very important. He said, conduct yourself very well. Stay in one spirit. He said, as you continue to stay like that, he said, whether he comes, whether in his absence or in his presence, he said, you, he said, you should not be afraid of any opponent. Why? Because that your self-control is already a protection to you. It is very important. The reason why a lot of believers are falling is because they have, they live a double life. I'm telling you, how many of you are here now? 21. If we say we should open our eye like that spiritually, or we should play camera of what people do, I'm telling you, maybe it's only one person that is living a straight life that is not living a double life here. Maybe it's only one person. Maybe it's only two people. Maybe it's only three. And thank God, maybe all. Maybe all of us who are not living a double life. There's one message that I preached some time ago, double identity. That message, people messaged me on Facebook. The ones that were angry, insulted me. Say, why would I come and be judging people? Double identity. That message, go and search it on Facebook. Double identity is there. There are people who are, they are double. The face that they have now that I'm preaching this message is different from the one that they have. Amen. Your conduct, for you not to fall, you need to keep, have a good conduct. Number four, be alert. First Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. Be alert. Be alert. Spiritual, be spiritually alert. Be physically alert. Your discernment is very important. Your discernment is what is very, very important. Be alert. You, you, you are, you're living, you are going somewhere. You are going for an investment and then you have this heaviness on you. Stop and ask God, what is this sign you're showing me? What is this thing that you are showing me? What is this sign? Some of you wake up in the, you wake up on the day that you're supposed to go for an appointment. You have an appointment at the hospital. You wake up that day, your head is doing like the boom, 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 boom. You are only in the shower. You are trying to go there. Let me just go. As this, my head is aching like this. Let me just go and see. Let the doctor look what is there. When you go, they see you have, you have a tumor in your head. It was God that was trying to obstruct you from going there before they go and tell you that you have something inside of your blood that the enemy has put there. Be, be alert. Be alert. When was it? Is it not like one month ago that I wanted to go to the hospital for something. And then I woke up three days to the day that I'm supposed to go to that hospital. Uh -uh. I, I'm, I'm just feeling somehow that the Holy Spirit is not telling me anything, but I'm just feeling odd. That hospital is on my head. When I think about that, going to the hospital, that's how my heart is beating fast. And then I asked for this, what is the problem? He said, don't go there. He <laughs> don't, don't just go there. Don't pass there. In fact, if you go there, ha, oh Lord, what they are waiting, what is waiting for you there? Ah, my dear. What Satan has prepared, waiting for you, you will shock. I said, really? Say yes, that's how I remove my yam. I started peeling it. I cook my food. I sat that cook a soup that day. I say, Father, I thank you. I pray, pray, finish. I eat that paper so I slide down. They don't call me. But I go, brother, why? This is the time of your appointment. I say, I'm sorry, I'm not coming. Who, 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 who do you know who is coming there? I don't come anything. But I go, brother, uh, this is the time of your appointment. Are you, where are you? I say, me. I'm in my house. Now we can't drag that blood now for you. I'm in my house. I'm not coming. I'm sorry. I know even there is no cast. I just say, I just stay quiet. I'm not coming. I stay on my own. And then after that time, 
And now the Holy Spirit said, after this day, you can go now anytime. But this particular today, on that date of that appointment, that's how my, my body was. This place that they're supposed to collect blood is doing poop, 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 poop. They have already put it in. <laughs> that's how the thing was doing poop, 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 poop. I said, look at them. You will feel like that. You will, you will be traveling like that. That's how you will be feeling for how you go and pay transfer and enter and go and die. And then you say, oh, but that person who was praying, you were praying, but you are not alert. You are not alert. Be alert. You are going for a business. You are going for an appointment. Be alert. Be alert. If you are alert, there are certain things that you will not, the mistakes that you will not make because you are alert. Be alert. A Christian that is not alert is a Christian that can die like a fly. Be alert. The things that happen to unbelievers will be happening to you. The people that does not have the Holy Spirit, they will even be safe from certain things more than you. Be alert. It's very important. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21 is talking about what? Direction. For a man not to fall, you need direction. You want to marry. Because you, you, you finish praying, the devil show up in black suit. You, you are accepted. Look at it. You ask God, Father, can I marry this person? You are, you are praying concerning a job, and then they just say, now, oh, there's this job. And then you carry yourself. And then you just go there because you heard that there's a job. You just go there without asking God nothing. A believer is not supposed to just go anyhow because you see that it's an open door. I've been praying this is the open door. You, don't, you are not supposed to work like that because them, as you are trying to have something, Satan is also doing his own thing. That's why they now take you and attach to you to, a, to an evil boss. Since you started working without your boss, you cannot give account of what your money, you're using your money to do. I had a boss. I had a boss that one of my colleagues showed that man his house in Nigeria. Oh, that man was so angry. That man was somebody that works hard. That, that my colleague is a man. He even works by, by night. He, that boy works very hard. That's how that my boss was so angry at that boy. He collected his money and built house. He collected his money and went and built house. And him, he does not have a house. He is staying with his, in his parents' house. I asked him, how is, that, how is that my problem? How is that supposed to be my problem? Is he not working hard? Did, did he come and steal your money? Did he see your money? He walked, you paid him. He used the money to be his house. You are angry. That's how a lot of people are working on that people that does not allow them to grow. Why? You never ask the Lord. You go and you, you, will, you, will, you go and put yourself somewhere that they will now cock you in a bottle. They will lock your destiny. Opportunities are coming. You cannot do anything. Ask God about direction. Father, this person is showing up. This person is coming. What, what is it? Is it this, is this, this man? Is it this business? Is, is, is this visa that they are talking about? Should I, even if you have to travel, is it the right time? <laughs> direction is very important. A young prophet, <laughs> God told him to go and give a message. And he went and gave a message. And God directed him what to do. He said, don't eat. Don't sit down. Don't do anything. When you give that message, turn back. He said, Fion. When he got there, he met a, a, an elderly prophet. <laughs> Those ones are error. That they are waiting for the day that God will remove the garment from their body to fall down and die. He met that one. That one said, I'm elderly prophet. Eh, come and sit down and eat. Is it not me? I'm elderly prophet. Come and sit down and eat. After I prophesied, he said, no, 
The Lord said that I should not sit down. I should not eat. I should not do anything. I should not collect anything. He said, come, am I not an elderly prophet? And that's how that young prophet went and sat down and ate. When he left that place, a lion ate him. Direction is very important. He died for nothing. Direction is very important. Direction is very important. Some of you, they give you direction like this. You will do like this. That prophet did not come back home. He did not return. He ended in the belly of a lion. Some of you, when you take direction and reach here, you think that you can fly now. And then you, the small direction that you have collected, you will now vamoose with the first direction that they gave you. And then you remain there. That, listen, a lot of people have not amount to where they're supposed to be because they do not get the complete direction. Do you know that God directs every day? Do you know that God directs every day, day by day? Do you know? Oh, you don't know. Do you know that God can actually change a prophecy? You don't know. When God sent prophet Isaiah to go and tell Ezekiah that he should prepare his going to die. Ezekiah turned and cried to God, and God sent that same prophet Isaiah to go and tell him that the prophecy has been changed. Do you know that God can actually shift things that you must be, you must go to him every time, every day to go and ask him, what is the next plan? Focus, direction is very important. Direction is very important. Let's look at it, Isaiah chapter 30. Isaiah 30, 21. Baby. I think we he said whether you turn to the right or to the left, you will hear. You will hear. You will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the way, walk in it. God is not out of confusion. I used to look at some people. Today they say, I saw a, a woman who was saying, talking on Facebook, a woman that married a pastor. He said, in, 20, in 2019, the pastor said that God said you should marry her. In 2022, pastor said God said you should divorce. I said, really? I said, she was talking. I think my question that I'm asking in my mind is that when God told that pastor to come and tell you that you should marry him, what did you do? Did you ask God? Oh, because there are people that, they are, the, they are the only ones that they hear God. If you ever come and tell me, see, when I was not married, if you dare tell me that God said I should marry you, it, uh, there is no insult that you will not hear from me. God said, I say, you go and marry an angel. Go and tell God that he should give you a female angel to marry. Me, I'm not married. Go and tell God that I say, I'm not marrying you. Go and tell him that this is what I said, that I will never ever marry you because all of those people, they are liars. God said I should marry you. God said, I should marry you. Yes, that's how they are always saying. God is not the author of confusion. In 2019, God said, you should marry. In 2022, God said, you should divorce her. How wonderful. Spirit of confusion everywhere. When God spoke like that, did you ask for direction? Is this the man of mine? There is, there, there is too much that is going on. There is too much that is going on with Christians. Especially now that everybody can prophesy, everybody prophesy anything that they like. People are impacting people left and right like this, like that. When they look at somebody like that in the church, they just look at you. You look like your destiny is kind of bright. You look like you will have small cash tomorrow. They will just call you and say, oh, there's a grace on your life. That you have the apostolic calling. You are a prophet. No, apostle, no, no, no. You are a prophet. And then they will say, you come, let them impact you, let them pour oil on you. And that's how you will start going about that you are a prophet or an apostle or an evangelist. And you don't have you any calling. Maybe your job is just to be, be good, helping the church. And that is how you will go and lay your hand on somebody. Your destiny will scatter. That is their plan. That's the reason why I'm not in a hurry to tell anybody. Oh, you are called or you are not called. If God doesn't use this man, have you ever heard? Have you ever heard on this broadcast me telling everybody that I that you, I see a calling on you. 
Have you ever heard? I think the only person that I've ever talked that I've talked to, even this man Florence and doom like that, she has a strong calling on her. But I will never use my mouth to tell her anything, to give her anything, tell her that come for impartation. Never. She has asked me many times. Because I know what I'm doing. I don't want to push anybody to go let them destroy that person for nothing. <laughs> if I slap you, say, Mafro, you don't hear no. <laughs> there are very few of them that you will hear me say something that come. Let me do this on you and by instruction, by instruction, because we are guiding. We, we, you are a custodian. You are guiding people's destiny. Let the enemy. Do you know how many people have been destroyed like that? Do you know how many people have been destroyed like that? You have a calling. You have a calling. You have a calling. You have a calling. And that is how their <laughs> people's brothers and sisters have been finished. You go, <laughs> hey, hey, God. <laughs> you all go, and you are talking to our marine spirit. I see some. I, I, <laughs> there's a spirit. There's a spirit. There's a spirit in you. And that person is having one marine spirit like that. But you all look at you like this. A demon you all look at you like this. He said, go and sleep. You will see me in the night. Go and lie down. You will know. There's a spirit. There's a spirit there. Yeah, that your team. There's a spirit. Don't worry. Go and sleep. Those go and sleep. In the night, you will understand. And that is how a lot of people, you wake up tomorrow, business scatter. This one scatter. Money scatter. Marriage scatter. This and that. Because somebody was quick to tell you. Don't you know that helping the poor is a calling? It's a very strong calling. Don't you know? Don't you know that being an usher in the church is a strong calling? Don't you know that cleaning the benches like that is a strong calling? Must everybody be a prophet? You have a calling. You have a calling. You have a calling. You are looking for altar. Some of their altars that they have packed titles under, they are going to stand. I have a calling. I pick many of you here like this. Have you seen see my mouth? This small Mirabel, she's coming here today. She thinks that I will use my mouth to talk to her. I don't talk to people again. I don't want people again. When you go, they catch your leg. That's your business. Me, 2023, I'm ready for it. I don't talk. I don't caution people again. I don't. I will give you scripture. That's why God is bringing me to the place of, of teaching. That's God. That's why God is bringing me to the place of teaching. Uh, Sister Evelyn Doom. Did you say, you sent a woman to me, she sent me a message. She said, you, you see me, do I, do I respond to that woman? I don't respond to the woman. Because what no, tell me no concern me, no concern me. What is not my business, not my business. I will not address it. That is how, that is how busy 2023 will be. It's not my business, it's not my business. You do anyhow, you will be like that. That's how it will be. Because people will go and get themselves entangled in things and bring it to you. For you to not get entangled. It's a lie. That time has passed. Me, it will not happen. It will not happen. No. Me, it will not happen. Be careful. Guide yourself. You see messages like this. Keep me from falling. It's to guide you into 2023. You don't see the messages I'm preaching to you. The gates of hell will not prevail. It's, it's guiding you. Those are your guidelines. Use them. It is your map that is taking you to the next level. If you like, discard them. If you like, hold them. Follow direction. Ask God. No ask her. Marry anybody you like. Tomorrow, you will face some. You will face it. Are we not tired of telling you, warning you, do this, do that, do this, do that for me, for my small age? Now I'm getting close up and down. No. No. Do as you like. Go. They call you. Any altar they call you, 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 you are happy. Do you know what is an altar? Do you know what is an altar? They are just calling you on any altar. Is it not here that I told my flood that the church that she's going to, that she should be, she should not pray that prayer, that woman prayer that she's going to pray? You don't even know anything. You are excited about your bloody church. I have a calling, I have a calling. You know what is called calling. And by, that, and by the way, you may have a calling for real. Low. 
you may have a calling, but the problem is that God did not do conference call. So if he, 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 the way he was calling was not a conference call, so I don't know. Until he tell me to tell you, or if he tell me to give you direction, I will never ever talk. Be careful as we are going into this year, 2020. Be guided. Be guided. Papa, my son is crying why now? Be what? Be guided for your own good. In Jesus' name, can we pray? Number one, put on the armor. Number two, resist the devil. Number three, be steadfast and immovable. Number four, conduct yourself. Number five, be alert. Number six, direction is very important. What will keep me from falling? Number one, put on the armor. Number two, resist the devil. Number three, be steadfast and immovable. Number four, conduct yourself. Number five, be alert. Number six, follow direction. Follow direction. May God help you and I as we do all of these things. May we be able to stand firm. May the things that we want to do in this life, May we see ourselves doing them in the mighty name of Jesus. You're going to lift up your voice in prayer and you are going to pray. You will ask God, oh God, my father, in the name of Jesus, as I pray, give me the grace to stand firm. Keep me, oh God, from falling in the name of Jesus. Keep me, oh God, from falling in the name of Jesus. Whether from falling into temptation, whether from failing in business, whether from falling in marriage, whether from in health, whatever the way that the enemy has programmed to bring me down, oh God, keep me from falling. Pride, the Bible says pride goes before a fall. There are people that it is pride that will not allow them to go further in their life. They will fall because of pride. You are asking God, oh Lord, my father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, keep me from falling, my God. Sikata, rotika palada kasekete. Oh God, keep me from falling in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep me, oh God, from falling. La shata kapalata, roko toliva kataita. O sikata lebrekete legesiata. O sagita lagrata lebrekete. O sakata ya. My father, in the mighty name of Jesus, keep me, O oh God, from falling. Keep me, O oh God, from falling. Keep me, O oh God, from falling. In the name of Jesus. Le sata la brakatika sokoto. Ika libra kataya. Masha katala brakata. Your word said the footsteps of the righteous, they are ordered by the Lord. It shine brighter and brighter unto a perfect day. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you will keep me, O oh God, firm. Keep my feet firm. In the name of Jesus, from falling. In in the name of Jesus, la katara bakati kasi katala baya rokoto lo broko si kata ma sheke tele breka taya lo koti kasi katala brakate ashada gaba rakati kasi kata lo koto roboko si kata ya katele breka taya hold me oh God uphold me with your righteous right hand ma kasi ata from falling oh God uphold me oh Lord with your righteous right hand uphold me oh God with your righteous right hand uphold me oh God with your righteous right Keep me from falling, Lord. Ya sata kapa la katika si kata leke de brakasa kata libra kata ya ma seke teleba. For you are the God that is able to keep me, oh God, from falling, making me perfect. Ma shati kata la bra reke teke si kata robo kosha kita asi kata libra kata la kate roche de gebaliata ima kaso do kopa rata leki da kasa ta rabale ke teke si ya usati 
Kita Paliata, Mashekete Libra Kata. Keep me, O God, from falling. Keep me, O God, from falling. Anything that will make me to fall, any agenda of the enemy, whether it is my feeling, whether it is pride, whether it is a, whether it is by me not praying, not having direction. Oh Lord, help me. Keep me, O God, from every plan of the enemy to cause me to fall in the name of Jesus. Keep me, O Lord, my Father, from falling in the name of Jesus. For you know the plans that you have towards me. They are plans of good and not of evil. They are plans to bring me to an expected end. Oh Lord, keep me from falling. Keep me from falling. As I enter, as I enter into the month of November, as I enter into the month of December, as I enter into 2023, keep me, oh God, from falling. The attitude of falling, the character of falling all the time. Let it be erased from my life and destiny. Keep me from falling, Father. May I not be connected to any, to any form of failure anymore. Enough of failure. Enough is enough. Enough is enough of retrogression, of disappointment, discouragement, oh God, that come with failure, that come with falling. It deliver me, oh God. Keep me from falling. Keep me from falling, oh God. For the scripture said in that Jude chapter 1, oh God, verse 24, that you are the only God that is able to keep me from falling and presenting me in your presence without blemish. Oh Lord, keep me from falling. Yakada brakata, yeke de bakata, 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 yeke de bakata. We understand that scripture said that the righteous fall seven times, but this is not our portion anymore. Mm -mm. This is not my portion anymore. This is not my portion anymore. This is not my portion anymore. That the righteous fall seven times. No, 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 no. I am not that person. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm not that righteous one that is falling seven times. No, I reject failure. I reject falling. I reject failure. I reject falling. I reject failure. I reject falling. I receive the ability to stand firm. I receive the ability to stand firm. I receive the ability to stand firm. I receive the, the hand of God that upholds the righteous. Today, let that hand uphold me. Somebody declare, let the hand of God that uphold the righteous, let it uphold me. Let it uphold me. Let it uphold me. The footsteps of the righteous, they are ordered by the Lord. It shine brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter unto a perfect day. Oh God, bring me to perfection. Bring me to perfection. Bring me to perfection. Section. Bring me before great men. That word said in that in that first Jude, chapter one verse twenty five. He said he will bring you what? He said he will bring you before. He said he will bring you before his holy presence. Hallelujah. What is that thing that you? What is that place that you are hoping to stand? That big place that you are hoping to see yourself. What is that next level that you hope to see yourself? I want you to project yourself into that place and pray to God. That Father, in the name of Jesus, I project myself into that place. I walk into that place. I enter into that place. Yes. Project yourself there. Project yourself there. I project myself into that place of perfection. Oh, I project myself. Oh, Palata, oh Yakanda Rabiata, Ikayate Kesikata Kosete Teke Kuta, Ikata Koso Kote Kesikata Katoka, Ratini Mika Doshka, Imaladi Kalakata, Rpatonto Rikata, Ikadi Katala Kota, Eshekete Kapalati, Anakato Robokoto, Vilata Sikaya, Ishake Palakata Kasuntia, Imalatiata, see yourself climbing. You have fought so many times, but this today, see yourself climbing, start climbing, climb that ladder, go up, go to the top, go to the top, go to the top, in the name of Jesus. Ibanta 
Kapaya, Adua Isatika, Ikadika Toko Sata, Ratini Kataya, Isata Kapastani, Kayadada Kusata, Ima Katikata, Latoko Sikata, Rapani Kataya, Igada Kado Shata, Lakataya Sikata Stam on my hand, Ladika Talibra Kata, Ikayada Shekete, Ratondo Kopayata, I lift you up, I lift you up, I lift you up, Ladani Kata. Retire Kosikata, Rama Katekete, the Lord keep you from falling, the Lord keep you from falling. From this day onwards, go up and never go down, go up and never go down, go up and never go down. Ikata, Kata, 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 the hand of God uphold you. And the sika usa tika pata kato kota. A deni kata. A baya de kesia. Uswa kata. You shall not feel anymore. You will not fall anymore. Kaya danta. Wherever great men are, you will stand at the first line. In the name of Jesus. You are lifted. You are lifted. You will not be among those that say they write your four seven times. It is no longer your portion. Failure has been cancelled in your life in the name of Jesus. The Lord keep you from falling. The Lord keep your feet firm on the ground in the name of Jesus. You shall not fall. We shall not fall in the name of Jesus. And the Lord lifts you like a tire butter. As you stand firm, so will this family stand firm. So will the church stand firm. So will the people God put in your hands stand firm in the name of Jesus. Like a tire sack. Rotini ni kadosha, abadi kato zegada, radika balikata, azende hada, ratu ni mata. I use Papa as a point of contact, even as he stood on my hand. I decree and declare upon your life in the name of Jesus. There is no failing anymore. There is no falling anymore in the name of Jesus. Let tele kupa la duanti kapalada e mesida. Allah dua kate e kayati kapaladi uzwan kanta adani makosiata leke de kete mashata kapa resist the enemy from this day on resist the enemy put on the whole armor stand against the devil stand against every fault in the name of Jesus after tonight after standing you will still stand in the name of Jesus resist the enemy put on the entire armor of God, be steadfast and immovable, be steadfast and in immovable in the name of Jesus. Mashata Kapaya, the ability for you to conduct yourself, to put yourself in good conduct, receive it now in the name of Jesus. The spirit of discernment fall upon you in the name of Jesus. Receive the ability to discern, the right thing to do, the right person to join with, the right person to move with in the name of Jesus. Receive discernment of spirit in the name of Jesus. Be alert. Be alert spiritually, physically. Somebody cry out, say, Lord, help me to be alert of the, 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 the strategies, the agendas of the enemy. Help me to be alert before they strike. I have left. Before they strike, I have gone. Before it happens, I will not be there in the name of Jesus. Keep me, oh God, from falling in the name of Jesus. Then I'll be alert in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask that you will show me the way to go. Direction, direction, direction. No more confusion. 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 Direction in Jesus' mighty name we receive. In Jesus' mighty name we receive. Papa, as the Lord is leading you, come and pray for the people. Father, 
breaka sakata raka tele breaka sakata raka tele breaka sakata raka tele breaka sakata raka tala braka sekete laka toro broko sakata laka teke sikata kata brother oren receive grace to stand without falling receive grace to stand without falling anything that has kept you back held you back for many years i break that grip i scatter that hand that invisible hand that has been holding you from prospering from making it in the name of jesus that rising and falling that you have faced for many years in the name of jesus today by the power in the name of jesus and because of the anointing that yoke is destroyed that yoke is destroyed go forward in the mighty name of jesus christ papa Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, instead of you going down, you will continue to rise in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, begin to rise in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to see yourself rising in the mighty name of Jesus from that lowly ground from that lowly state begin to rise in the mighty name of jesus begin to rise in the mighty name of jesus what pulls people down what causes people to fall today it is eliminated in the mighty name of jesus let it be eliminated out of your life permanently in the mighty name of jesus what causes people to fall what causes people to fall Mm, it will not be your portion Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, what causes people to fall? Mm, the projection of the enemy to, that causes people to fall today is terminated out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I say the projection, the incantation, the libation, the invocation from the camp of the enemy for you to fall Today, that 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 kasika takayata. Oh, that 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 kasika yata. I said those powers are bound and thrown out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not fall any longer. As the scripture has said that they will say a thing, but it will not come to pass. Those words, those incantations, it will not come to pass in your life. It will not have effect in your life. You are free from that captivity in the mighty name of Jesus. I say you are free from that captivity in the mighty name of Jesus. I say you are free from that captivity in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. From today, from today, by the power of the Almighty, by the power of the Almighty, the power that brings Jesus out of the grave, the grave couldn't hold him bound. The grave couldn't close his mouth against him, but it opened his mouth for him to come out. Today, wherever they have closed every gate that they have locked you in let it open let it open for you to come out in the mighty name of jesus let it open for you to begin to accelerate to that point that god has designed for you to be in the mighty name of jesus move to the top in the mighty name of jesus move to the top in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are afraid. Can you pray for Sister Tandria? 
Get the oil and pour on your head. Asata kapa rakata sakita kapa leke tia sokoto rabasha takapa aswanta kapa santi kalabra kato sakita ya shataka parati labika siyada rabaka sikayata labaka sikata kayata rabaka sikayata libra kashata father by the power of the anointing Amen. that invisible hand yes, that has been pulling you backward today lady cash fire 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 say cash fire in the mighty name of jesus cash fire in the mighty name of jesus cash fire in the mighty name of jesus that invisible hand that has been going around with you that when you want to rise it will pull you down that when you want to step into your glory it will push you out today in the mighty name of jesus i say let the fire of god begin to burn let it begin to burn that hand out of your life let it begin to burn let it begin to burn that spirit that was attached to you that spirit that was attached to you so that it will confuse you out of your path this hour fire fire i said lose her in the mighty name of jesus lose your grip in the mighty name of jesus lose your grip in the mighty name of jesus lose your grip in the mighty name of jesus i decree this woman let that body become too hot for you to dwell in the mighty name of jesus let the fire begin to burn let the fire begin to burn in that body let it become too hot for you to dwell in the mighty name of jesus let the fire begin to burn let it begin to burn let it begin to burn let the fire begin to burn right now in jesus mighty name let the fire begin to burn let it begin to burn from makasikayata from the north, east, west, and south, let the fire begin to burn. Yes, 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 yes. Let it begin to let your body become too hot. Let the place become too. Let the environment. Let the environment become too hot for you now. Let the environment. Let the ground that you stand on. Let it become too hot. Let it become too hot in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it become too hot. Shata taya, lika sikayata, libra katayata, rabadada, rabadaba kayata, rabakasa tayata, rabakasa tayata, rabakayata, ayakai, libra kasikayata, out, out of the body, out, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, kata kata, rikasa, you cannot resist it, yes. You cannot resist this. You cannot resist it. Rapa kasata tayata. Makasata. Lose your grip there. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Rakatayata. Ekasikayata. Libra kasikayata. Labra kayata. Labra kasataya. Ekapasatayata. Libra kayata. Lekatiata. Break, 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 break. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Rapa Kayata. Libra Kayata. La Casicata. One. Yes. Out. 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 Mm. Seven, lose in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, go. 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 Out in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> in the mighty name of Jesus. Turn to the right, turn, turn, mm. turn, use your right hand, turn to your, your right, yes, mm. mm -hmm. 
Yes, loose, 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 yes, 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 loose, loose, yes, shut it, loose right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Loose. Loose. Loose your creep. Loose your creep. Loose. Yes. Shadadabasha. Rakasatakayat. Lika Sikayata. Rapakasikayata. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes. As the Holy Spirit, loose her. Mm. She's completely loose. Yes. She will come back to herself. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Thank you Father. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. It is settled. In Amen. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Mashata kakalada kasosoto lisa katalisa sakayada. It is done, Sister Tandre. I pray for you that the Lord will move you forward. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. No more Amen. delay. And may the Lord keep you from falling. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Pray for you. Amen. Thank you. Any email news that you have been waiting for so long may be released to you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Anything that has been Amen. in between you and that mail. May that thing be resisted today Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Mm. Apart from how the Lord shows me somebody, but in the course of prayer, I think as if I've lost the person. <laughs> Who is the person said? I have lost the person. It's okay. We'll get the person back in the subsequent meetings. We'll get the person back. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. It's been wonderful spending time with you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Math lost, brother. You be consistent. All right. Be consistent and let your feet step up. I don't want to minister and then your, your faith is not up enough let your faith step up okay let your faith step up do a lot of warfare in the night i don't know how you pray but pray go pray with scriptures use a lot of scriptures and pray in the night let your faith step up you know shake your end your atmosphere let your atmosphere be be be, be hot enough and then let God come in, in the name of Jesus. Uh, NST. NST. Yes, ma'am. NST. Yes, ma'am. NST. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. NST. <laughs> yes. Papa, why are you laughing now? You see, you see, you and Esteem, you are impatient. You are very impatient. You, you, as you smell like this, you are, you are very impatient. And you don't listen to instruction. And next thing, and next thing, the Lord says, I should warn you. 
See, open your two ear like this. He said he will not warn you again. He said you allow you to enter the trap of the enemy. You will learn from there. You see, as I warn you like this, I will not warn you again. What you want to see, you will see. You are impatient. Very impatient. Stay like this, you will not stay. Stay like this, you will not stay. Stay like this, you will not stay. Concerning everything about your life, you are in a hurry to do what? God bless you. Why are you very impatient? What is your problem? Concerning job, you are impatient. You will send me like 100 jobs at the same time. Go like this. You go like this. You go like this. Oh, mommy, and uh, this and that. And uh, thank you. You you say anything and you finish it with thank you. Don't say that you're thank you to me again. You won't. The Lord said, I should warn you. He said, I should warn you. <laughs> he said, I should warn you. See, there are wolves waiting for you. You didn't see that message I sent to you? Say, hold your peace. Hold your peace. He said, those wolves, they are waiting to devour you. Be, you think it's, a, it's an empty thread? Go and check my, my, my prophecy trademark. Go and check my trademark. I don't call people and talk to them for nothing. Go and check my trademark. <laughs> you never even get me. <laughs> you are joking. You see that thing? Don't send me any picture again. Don't try it. Don't say no. I don't want to. Yeah. If you don't have money, if you have not established your life, I don't. You, you want to marry who said? Eh? Who do you want to marry? The people that are even strong, they are in marriage, their legs are shaking. You, you go, you, you bring that head, that mouth, that head like this, my yam under my table. We head the one side like this, ready to devour your life. You want to go and bring, mom, mommy, mommy, eh, this other one is not talking to me again. And that, and so you bring the other one. You now bring the other one. As you swallow like this, you get mind. You have a, a mind. You, you cannot fast and pray and know why that one is not talking to you. You go and bring this one head like plum. Don't try me. Don't try me. I you hear it. You don't hear. You hear what I tell you. Yes. Yes, mommy. Yes, I'm you know, sorry. Any picture again. The law said that your marriage you are talking about. Even five years, you never see them. So just concentrate and be yourself. Go and build yourself. Go and work money. Go and build yourself. So as you did like this, when somebody finally cockle you like this and put under their armpit and put in their house, are you not a house help? Eh? You, yes, ma'am. What is happening between your mother and your father? You want it, you, 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 you want situation to repeat. Until it repeats, you will not rest. It will not be under my watch in Jesus' name. It will, it don't, there are people that if I'm talking to them, I will talk the way I want to talk to them as the Holy Spirit lead me. If you lie, you run. Me, I will find you in that Ghana. I will catch you and bring you back here. If you lie, you run. I will look for you spiritually and physically. You see you, you must be better. My year that is in marriage with me. It's not for you. Now like this. Go and build yourself. Oh, you are looking for a boyfriend. No, I mean, your case don't close in Jesus' name. Mommy, mommy please thank you. you uh, please, so, please thank you. <laughs> it's well with you. God bless you. I love you. Amen. Amen. Thank all, you. Of, all of these people, they do like small rice. So those kind of rice, so you need to be high. Thank you. When you hear something. But God is with her. God loves her. The way they think, Holy Spirit, sound the one in my ear. Sound the one that day said your body was supposed to be shaking you like this on, on your bed that day because the warning was strong. Holy Spirit said, just, just warn her, give her the warning of her life. Tell her that she should just pack one side. He said, you should go and get a good job. You see, you should go and build yourself very well. You have not even gotten a good job. You have not even gotten a good job. You have never even built yourself. <laughs> I just imagine to just be a farmer. 
she will suffer. They will just give her umbele. She will just be suffering with that pregnancy. Suffer, suffer, suffer. Your mother will cry and cry and cry and cry all her suffering in this world. Don't just allow the devil to just, don't just do it. Don't, 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 don't. Holy Spirit say, if she, do, I should leave her to go and chop breakfast, it will be very big breakfast. She will not come out. Even seven years, she has not even started recovering. The Lord showed me, this. she sent me, she sent me a picture. I saw the picture. I was very shocked. I looked at the picture like that. The head of the person is a wolf. I now look at it. I say, ah, what is this? What, what kind of editing is this? And I ask Holy Spirit, what do you mean by this? He now say, ah, now wolf this. He go devour oh, this, this. He will devour this one. He want to just, he will just eat like that. <laughs> Wipe mouth and just stay like this. She will be saying that. He is the grand responsible for the pregnancy. The most are still you only one time. <laughs> I, I don't get power. I don't get power. I don't get power. I don't get power at all. The boy will say only one time somebody steals somebody can somebody get can somebody get somebody pregnant. I had a stupid cousin. He will now say that they came to the house and say a ten has gotten me pregnant. Then my cousin had the guts to tell ask my father, Papa, Papa, look at me, look at me. Do you think that I can carry my own stomach and give somebody? What will I not have as my stomach? Hey, mommy, my mother say hell. So you, they are talking about pregnancy. You are talking about your stomach. He said, hey, hey, they get sick and belly. <laughs> what is belly? Belly. <laughs> See, carry, I carry my belly. What do you mean? I give you belly. What do you mean by that? I give you belly. So I carry my belly, give you, because I don't have use for my belly. Oh, well, what do you mean by that? Do you think that I love you so much that I carry my belly, I give you? When he spoke like that, my father did not have anything to say again. My mother said, will you shut, will you shut up your mouth? Will you, will you shut up your mouth? Will you shut up your mouth? Even the girl's parents, they, they were, they had the turn and asked the girl. So he went and got pregnant for a man, man. So he went and got pregnant for a mad man. Hey, you have killed us. That's how they stood up and left though. That's how they, that man just stood up with his wife, said, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So you, you went and got pregnant for a madman. They say he impregnated you. He said he gave you his stomach. It's because you don't know. He, she's laughing. She's because she doesn't know. She doesn't know. When you cannot see sense something spiritually, that's how you will see people like that. They'll be walking. You don't know. Imagine if a wolf eat something. Well, God bless you, people of God. My name is Pastor Brendan. This is her talk. I don't speak like that because I hate her. I speak like that because I love her. And I speak like that because that's how the Lord is speaking to me. God bless you. I will see you in the morning. Papa will see you. No, I'll see you in the morning. Oh, Papa, come. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Papa. Happy birthday to you. To you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. To you. It's my birthday. It's not your birthday. <laughs> I received you, the like, you like celebration, it's not your own. It's, it's not your own. Happy it's birthday not birthday to me. Happy no way. To, to Papa. <laughs> God bless it's you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Papa. Happy birthday, you are. Papa, happy birthday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless. Mm. Yes. Yeah. I'm we're happy to celebrate with you though. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Amen. Amen. The God that made it happen. 
He will continue to guide us. Amen. Amen. He will Amen. our steps. Amen. He will continue to lead us to the very place that he has destined us to be. Amen. We will not Amen. fall apart. Amen. In Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Lord that brings you on this platform, He will not allow you to fall apart. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That which is your expectation, mm -hmm. it will never be cut short. Amen. God will make it to happen. Amen. Even in a no distance time. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you for everything. I was thinking about your birthday. Mm. Uh, when you left, when you went out. I was thinking. And... It was very emotional because you are, I don't know, I don't know how to describe what you are, but thank you so much for everything. Thank you for always being there. Thank you for being supportive. Thank you for being understanding. Thank you for always you know stretching your hand, helping out, showing me the, the, the way to go. Thank you so much. When I'm not even strong, nobody knows because of the way you cover up for everything. In fact, if you were not there, I don't know how it would be, how walking the work of God would be. I know that I love God, but uh, you make it easy for me to even love God more. I want to thank God for you. I thank God for, you know, bringing you to my life. He knows that I need you so much. I thank you for everything. I thank you the way you love God. The way you love God, mm, it helps me to love God even more. Thank you for everything. Thank you. May God answer every prayer that you have ever, ever, ever prayed in the name of Jesus. May this age usher you into awesome wonders in the name of Jesus. I ask that everything that you will call, you will call 1,000 will answer for you in the name of Jesus Christ. In this age, it will be an age of the supernatural. You will experience the supernatural. Even as a man of God, you will experience the invisible hand of God in your ministry. Mm -hmm. When you speak, the power of God will follow Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And you will not fall. Amen. You will not even stumble Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen to me. You are a man that a lot of people envy to be like you, but they are about to, to, to witness another man that is about to, that has emerged out of you. Amen. I know the reason why I called you to come and stand on my, on my palms when I was praying for you, because the Lord called me and said, come and pull the other man. There's a new man that has just come out of you. Amen. I bless God for your life. Amen. You are about to experience strength power, Amen. the might of God, the glory of God Amen. in the name of Jesus in other dimensions. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. Ah, I know that I'm not the kind of woman that I show love like that, but I know that I love you. I love you so much. Amen. Thank you for everything. Thank I will you. try my best to, you know, do PDA small, small, you know, do small, 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 small something. I will try my best to always, you know, God bless you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Even if you don't love me, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I always say that it's, uh, it's not 
Uh, it's not my place to love you, but mm. I, you know, at some point, love can seem is important. Mm. So I know, I, I know that I'm stubborn. I, 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 I try, I try with the sub, being submissive, but I try, okay, and I'll try more, okay. God bless you. Come and talk. What about being Joe? Vicky, sister Vicky, say chop kiss. God bless you. Go for this step of happy birthday. People of God, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Pastor Brenda. Hi, Mama. Yeah, can you bless my oil and sauce for me, please? Okay. Thank you. All right. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask, oh God, that you will bless the elements that your daughter is having in her hand, oh God. Touch the oil, touch the salt also in the name of Jesus. May they be turned to God from physical oil, oh God, and sold into spiritual elements that will be used to change her life as she ministers to herself, to them, and to her family in the name of Jesus. Whatever she will speak, applying these things, oh God, may yokes be broken, be destroyed. In Jesus' mighty name, I sanctify that oil and salt. I call them blessed in Jesus' mighty name. I speak the fire of God upon them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, people. See you in the morning. Uh, uh -huh. So, the Lord also said when we were praying, He also said that. As you are led, you can sow into the word that you receive, okay? God bless you. We'll see you in the morning. Fasting is still continuing. We're in the presence of God. We'll end on the eighth now, Papa, because we'll end on the eighth now because we didn't start from the, from the day we had to start. Uh, on the third. When did we start? 28 was Friday. No, 27 was Friday. Eh, we started fasting for yesterday now. Don't know. Uh -huh. So, so fasting is, is supposed to be seven days. So 28, 29, 30, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, Fourth, okay, so it's on the fourth. Yeah, so guys, God bless you. We will see you in the morning again for another powerful ministration. Mr. Governor, God bless you. God bless you, bless you, bless you. All right, see you in the morning.